I think it's a show that does work. I think part of it is the story itself um, and the vehicle itself. It's one of the few very well-written book musicals um, that have sort of endured. And part of it is the eternal charm of youth and the boys' band and everything. And another part of it certainly is um, our cast, which is very, very strong. And um, we were very lucky to get everybody that was appropriate for parts, very lucky to get um, terrific dancers and a terrific choreographer. And um, that's kind of, I think, a lot of it. There are shows to me that are very clear uh, in vision, and, and this show. Uh, with all of the music and all the music being so well known and it being very balletic in style, that's definitely my style. So that, that was the first thing. The second thing was getting a group of dancers and a cast that just was able to do anything that I gave them. Not much was, was planned before we got into the rehearsal process. I put together some dance pieces or dance uh, combinations for the audition, but not knowing what dancers I would have and what they would be able to do and you know I, I didn't want to put too much together and then have to go back and revamp. I think Brian Ravel brings to Harold Hill um, a salesman because Brian is a salesman. Brian is a salesman in his normal life. Um, we've called him the mayor of Collingswood. Um, he's always selling. So that was kind of a natural, and certainly the, um, the physical and the dance ability and the charm were uh, things that were required and uh, actually enhanced, enhanced the role. Because Harold Hall can really be played as kind of a charlatan and kind of a bad guy, and there is that element to him who certainly does rob people, but you've got to like him while he's doing it. And uh, Brian kind of, I don't know whether he's robbed anybody, but uh, we like him no matter what. What? Shut up! Shut up! Don't tell me what I was hired for. I get my check at the end of the run. I know what I did. Um, we are taping, by the way. Oh. <laughs> you didn't say the end of which run. Harold Hill is complex on many different levels. He's first and foremost a salesman who thrives on the kill, cementing the deal, doesn't really see the people behind the cash. He's also a lover, a I'm dancer, a, <laughs> a dancer. The most challenging aspect of this production was the lines, memorizing all of those lines. He has a ton of lines, he says them very quickly, and they don't all come out. I'm a huge paraphraser as an actor and I work on that consistently, but some of these lines are so well known in the theatrical world that you, you need to, yeah, you, it, it was, it was the, the lines for me. <clears throat> and I do have many more lines than Rebecca. Clearly I'm a dancer first. I mean, that's a given. Anyone who sees me on stage 
says, that girl's a dancer. Look at that grace. Look at that style. Boy, can she move. Well, Joanne just kept saying, damn it, you're not getting it right. And Brian. And um, Brian just was great about having to do everything 500,000 times instead of, you know, like twice, like he normally does. Brian has huge experience as a choreographer, and not just in doing main stage shows here at the Ritz, but string bands and high school shows. So he's definitely been through the whole gamut of working with every type of performer from, you know, beginner to advanced, and just having a really, really good sense of the overall look of a piece. And I think we share that. We're, we're both very, con uh, I don't want to say concerned, but we're very detail-oriented and, and interested in, in the workings of, of, the, of the piece. Um, how long is the party? And, um, <laughs> what? How long is the See, like, it's not really my dressing room. It's like, everyone's dressing room. Like, <laughs> you, know, yeah, you have exactly. children hiding in the right. wardrobe. Yeah, and everybody, everybody <laughs> comes Get back there, I told you not to come back here. <laughs> and everybody comes by and says, does my hair look okay? Do you have a tissue? Can I have do your have water? Can I dry your towel? Let me see your hands. Do you love me? We're like a damn CVS. <laughs> so, Art has an incredible ear for what sounds good. Um, not to mention the fact that he has perfect pitch. Um, he's an intellectual musician which um, I find very attractive. He's not, he's, I mean, he's still very, very artistic, which is great, but he also um, brings a sharpness to things that really appeals to me. I've worked with Joanne as a director before, and I'm not sure whether I was in a show with her or not, but as a choreographer, she brought an incredible amount of energy, as well as expertise. Um, this was really a style that she understood very, very well. She took seriously. She was prepared for every single rehearsal. and. Um, when we decided that dance would be the connective between the scenes um, for the entire show and kind of love and dance and romance, um, she really took that and uh, worked it and made it, made it happen and uh, I'm eternally grateful for that. The beginning weeks for me were very, very busy because I would teach on a night and I'd go home the next night and I would quick, quick, quick put together what I was going to do for the next night and I got even more screwed up because <laughs> I estimated it would take two rehearsals to teach every number, and the dancers were so good that they would learn the whole number in one night, and then I'd have to go home and come up with the next number, so I'd be able until 3 o'clock in the morning. This girl's from the way you tie your shoes. Get your Harry choreographer on tape. Hi there, my name's Larry. I'm the piano player here. I bet you'd like to learn how to play the piano. If so, just call me at 795-8122 and we'll set up some lessons for you. Bye. Is when we do. I'm so pleased with how everything turned out and and I think the most amazing thing to me is how um, Art's vision and my vision um, and just the vision of even every cast person just came together, everybody had the same same vision, and so we got this really beautiful, nice show. I mean, it's just such a nice show to watch, and this is going to be my, what, I don't even know, 15th, 16th time watching it, and I could, I could watch it for weeks more just because it's just come together. It's just been such a joint effort. Hasha, hasha, hasha. Hasha, hasha, hasha. Woo! Okay. So I want to give you plenty of time to get ready, but I need I need us back on track.
I think it is uh, deceivingly difficult. I think a lot of high schools attempt it, and I think that they need to be prepared um, for the musical challenges as uh, far as the quartet is concerned, and we were very lucky to get a quartet to walk in that was already rehearsed and had rehearsed on their own. And I think that's the downfall of some uh, local and, and high school productions is that they, don't, they can't put a quartet together. Um, I think uh, a lot of the roles are pretty challenging. Marion's a pretty challenging role. Um, so um, we were very fortunate and um, I'm grateful for that. Never doing show with kids again. No kids, no dogs, no Bruce Carlos. That's my rules. They're the one that came up with the scheme. He came in, showed me a couple times, and here, have it, cheers. Which it really isn't that bad, and it gives me, uh, keeps me focused on makeup. Want to give I up a try. Right up, man hungry Nazi weapon. Get out of here, you dirty mouth.